Now Your Weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. It was no question we had a lot of rainfall yesterday from those showers and thunderstorms and three of our observation areas did break daily records for the rainfall. The old records were all in 2004 for March 5th for Green Bay, Appleton and Oshkosh, but they have all been broken with the new records in Green Bay just under 1.8 inches of rainfall, Appleton 1.38 and Oshkosh 1.29 inches of rain. Other areas like in Oneida in Green, uh, Brown County also seeing close to 1.8 inches of rainfall in Wild Rose 1.65, Two Rivers an inch 0.55, Amro down to one and a half inches of rain. And this is where the heaviest of it occurred uh, down towards Green Lake, Princeton, all the way up into the heart of the viewing area. And we are seeing some drier weather right now, but things will be changing as we head into the day overnight and into tomorrow. So quiet, dry, brown grass, but I think we're going to be adding a little bit of snowfall depending on where you live. We've got this area of low pressure right now developing down to our south, lifting up to the northeast, and you're already starting to see a band of snowfall, and that is lining up with those winter weather advisories from Wichita, Kansas, all the way through Illinois, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And our winter weather advisories go from midnight till noon for tomorrow. This band is going to increase in coverage. We're going to be on the far northern fringe of this area of low pressure. Heavier amount of snowfall will be occurring over southern Wisconsin. But some areas in the Southern Fox Valley will be picking up several inches of accumulation by the morning hours tomorrow. This is one o'clock in the morning. Then as we get closer to about four or five o'clock in the morning hours as we're heading out the door into work, could be seeing some light snowfall and it will be accumulating into about the late morning hours before it exits out of here by about lunchtime and then some breaks in the cloud cover afterwards. Snowfall accumulation is not a big one and a very sharp cutoff as you head farther northwest from a line from about Green Lake up towards Manitowoc where we could be seeing only about a dusting of snow in Green Bay. Same thing in Appleton, Oshkosh getting to a about one to two inches, but Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, Manitowoc, Southern Calumet, and Southern Green Lake counties have the best chance to have about two to four inches of accumulation. And perhaps in Sheboygan County, a few localized areas might pick up upwards close to about five inches of snowfall. It's currently 34 outside, feels like 25 with a wind out of the west at 13 miles per hour. We had some breezy, strong winds early this morning, uh, gusts upwards about 40 miles per hour in some of the area locations. Colder up to the north in Pembine of 20, 30 degrees, 29 in Anago. It is 32 right now in Watoma and 33 in Ephraim as well, a 35 in Sheboygan. Winds coming in out of the west and northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. They will start to pick up a little bit overnight tonight and continue as we head into the day for tomorrow with wind gusts around 20 to near 25 miles per hour at times throughout the day. So so with the snow, it's going to be more of a wetter uh, sticking snow because temperatures are going to be rising up into the mid 30s as we head later on into the afternoon tomorrow. So that'll cut down a little bit on that blowing and drifting. But initially, as we wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures will be below freezing. So it'll be more of a lighter, drier snow. 28 for the overnight low north winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow getting up to about 35 with snow early and then we'll see some breaks in the cloud cover later on in the afternoon. North winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. 70 forecast getting up to 42 on Tuesday, 35 on Wednesday, both sunny days, and then another chance of snowfall on Thursday behind it. A push of colder air Friday and Saturday's highs back into the mid and lower 20s. It looks like a cold snap sticking around here for the central part of March before we start to warm things up. Well, that's a look at your forecast. We'll be back after the break.